Curtis Chin did not grow up in Honolulu's Chinatown, but Detroit's, working at his father's restaurant, Chung's Cantonese Cuisine, for most of his young life. The restaurant closed in 2000 after 60 years of business, but the lessons he learned there, he makes use of every day. When you're a little kid, oftentimes your parents will say, don't talk to strangers. My parents actually told me the opposite. They said, talk to strangers. And who they were talking about were the people sitting in the dining room. And because of that, I've always had this great, um, you know, uh, uh, love of just talking to people who are different from me and trying to learn from them. Chen's book is a sometimes funny memoir of him growing up as Chinese American and gay in Detroit during the 1970s and 80s. So why is it proving to be so popular? I think it's because of the food. I talk about food a lot. Uh, but I also think it's because it's about Detroit in the 80s, a very interesting time period for a lot of people. They're not quite sure what to make of it. But I think when you throw that all in together, it's an interesting mix. There's a lot of humor in it. Um, but it also, at the same time, tackles a lot of very uh, important issues that our country is facing right now. As I said to my agents when we were trying to sell the book, it's like, come for the egg rolls, but stay for the talk on racism. Part of his book deals with the 1982 racially motivated beating death of Vincent Chin, who was a friend of his family. The early lack of coverage by the mainstream media caused him to become a writer and a producer. It took him 12 days before the media actually covered the story. Meanwhile, everybody in the Chinese American community was coming down to our restaurant trying to find out as much details as they could about what happened. Um, and so for me, that contrast between what our community was interested in and what the mainstream media was covering uh, was really um, an eye-opener in terms of the importance of controlling the narrative, of being able to tell our story as Asian Americans. Since his book was released in October, Chin has done 70 promotional events, including five in Europe. If you want to know more about what he learned in a Chinese restaurant, he'll be doing a reading this Sunday at 2 o'clock at The Shop in Kaimuki. It might leave you hungry for more. Rick Kwan, Island News.